Hello everybody, welcome to Blind Room Productions. I'm Dez, and this week's image um, project is based off of the film coming out today, Birth of the Dragon, which is about Bruce Lee and his controversial and famous fight with Wong Jackman. Um, I wanted to do this image partly because I, I like Bruce Lee, and he's just an awesome um, celebrity and, and, and figurehead in uh, pop culture. And because of the major effect that he has had on pop culture, he's influenced quite a number of things with um, his movies and with his fighting style. I'm referring, referencing back to last week's project. We had uh, Iron Fist and Daredevil, both of which, you know, in the show, in their respective shows and in Defenders, they have a very fluid and um, quickly moving fighting style. And I think that has, though maybe not directly based off Bruce Lee, it has um, in its roots some reference back to him. Uh, he also, Bruce Lee, I find also had, you know, plenty of reference throughout all of pop culture, but I wanted to specifically uh, add a nice little twist to this project by combining Bruce Lee with, um, and his, this fight, this, uh, with Wong Jackman, this kind of image, with Avatar The Last Airbender as another, um, pro another thing that I think Bruce Lee probably had a, you know, if you trace it back, probably had a great effect on. And also because it's another very famous, um, more modern martial arts um, martial arts TV show um, that again has I think has ties back to Bruce Lee. Now for this image, it was wanted to do Bruce Lee and Wong Jackman as benders, elemental benders. Whether um, which one to pick was the the tricky part, though. The because based off of of the the actual bending styles, which in themselves are based off of real martial arts. Um, if we're going that way, both Bruce Lee and Wong Jackman were proficient in enough martial arts by themselves to have been the Avatar and used all of the, the bending styles. But I didn't want to have um, either of them be the Avatar or have more than one uh, just because it would complicate things and, and I just felt that would have been unbalanced. So for Bruce Lee, I specifically went with water for multiple reasons because in my research I found that one of the earlier styles that he trained in was Tai Chi Chuan, um, which is one of the, the the style that water bending was based off of. And he had a, the famous quote that to move like water. Um, and so both between those two and then just his very fluid fighting style, I felt like water bending was appropriate for him. Now for Juan Jackman, I went with fire bending, um, ultimately because. Uh, as we see in the the movie Birth of the Dragon, and in my research, he was uh, one of the earlier styles that he learned in, and that he was involved with was uh, um, the Shaolin style because he was also you know he was part of the Shaolin Temple, as we see in the movie, um, and at the time of the fight as well. And so, the fire bending was based off of the Northern Shaolin Kung Fu style, and so that's why I went with fire bending for him. Um, now to the actual image itself, I did the the picture on just a normal normal sketch paper and one of my larger sketchbooks, um, just because I wanted to be able to get a little bit more in detail in this image without um, it, you know, mixing and, and over smudging too much um, into each other. Um, and I did just normal my normal mechanical pencil uh, sketch, and then went over it with the um, my sharpie pen to to keep the line work. Because I found that the graphite in the pencil would mix with the pastels when I uh, smudged it and mixed them together, and that just didn't look very good. Um, so I did the those thinner lines to keep with the pen to keep my my line work, and so I'd know what I was doing, where I wanted everything to go. Um, then I went over and did my pastel work, and I used not your regular run of the mill pastels. Instead, I used um, oil pastels, which unlike normal pastels are bound together using oils and it gives them um, a little bit more of a crayon effect and they don't smudge and mix as much uh, but i think it still looks good and, and it looks nice and works pretty well for this image too um and then last the last thing i did in this image was the um, brush pen i wanted to add some line weight variation um, and I found that after I did all the pastels, none of the line work really popped. You couldn't quite see what it was looking, what you were looking at as much as I was hoping you would. So I went 
back through, did all the line work with the brush pen and, and filled in a few spots as well. And yeah, that about sums it up. So I'll let you go ahead and listen to some music and enjoy the rest of the video.
Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this martial arts mashup fan art video. Um, and if you did, be sure to subscribe and follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Leave a comment down below for what you would like to see done in the future or if there's any specific uh, fan art or projects that you want to want to see happen. Um, be sure to share this with all your friends and family and anyone else really. Uh, worst enemies, arch enemies, sort of kind of acquaintance, just about anyone. Um, and I hope to see you next week.